Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today I would like to share with you some evidence from the Quran for 31 events to strike earth throughout 2012 and God knows best and controls everything in real time. These events are not related to the end of the world or the Mayan calendar because they all start and end before the 21st of December 2012 and God knows best. This study is not just for Muslims, this is for the whole world. Each and every one of us will be affected by these 31 events. So please, you owe it to yourself, to your family, to your friends, to study the evidence, validate it. You don't even need to know Arabic. The whole thing is based on prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? Well, as you probably have learned in school, that prime numbers are those whole numbers divisible by themselves on one only. That's not the essence of it. The most important thing about prime numbers, the way you think about them, is actually they are the mothers of all their multiples. Mathematicians know that there is an infinite number of prime numbers. They proved that. But where prime numbers excel really is in cryptology, the science of sending messages securely over insecure mediums like the Internet. In public key cryptology, prime numbers are used to lock message and make it irreadable then anybody who knows how to factor a very long number into its prime factors can unlock the message and that's a time-consuming operation now in the Quran God Almighty is not using long prime numbers like in cryptology instead God is using a special type of prime numbers called additive prime numbers where the sum of the digits that make up a prime number is also prime so where are all these additive prime numbers in the Quran I hear you saying well, let's look at the first chapter, which is entirely built on additive prime numbers. It has 7 verses, 29 words, and 139 letters. All three numbers are additive prime numbers. 7 is a prime number, and the digit sum stays 7, so it's also a prime number. 29 is a prime number, and 2 plus 9 is 11, which is also a prime. 139 is a prime number, and 1 plus 3 plus 9 is 13, which is also a prime number. Remember, prime numbers are rare as we go up the number ladder, but additive prime numbers are even rarer. And to really drive the message home, God Almighty has chosen these three numbers, additive prime numbers, 7, 29, 139 letters, such that when you join them left to right or right to left, they also become additive prime numbers. So, 729,139 and 139,297 are prime numbers, mothers of all its multiples, and the digit sum of each one of them, so 7 plus 2 plus 9 plus 1 plus 3 plus 9 equals 31, is also prime number. Incredible. And you know what? The chapter name is called The Key or The Opener. It just can't get any better. Have I talked about 2012 yet? No. All the above are facts, no speculations. I have developed specific software called Quran Code to study this phenomena of Quran and additive prime numbers. And it's free on my website, heliwave.com, for all researchers. You don't even need to know Arabic. This is not for just our generation, for future generations too. And the first fruit of this research is the 31 events of 2012. Glory to him, the merciful, the Lord of the worlds. He made a chapter called the merciful in the Quran, it's chapter 55, to have 31 repetitions of an exact verse. And the verse says, What other bounties of your Lord do you still deny, both of you, man and jinn? Jinn is uh, plasma-based beings, and man is a clay-based being. Out of 78 verses, 31 of them is exactly this verse. In Arabic, The other 47 are different. 47 is a prime number, and 4 plus 7 is 11, so 47 is an additive prime number, whereas 31 is not an additive prime number, it's just a single prime number. But we saw earlier from chapter the key that 31 was the sum of the six digit numbers so that might be pointing to these 31 events and God knows best what's more the first repetition of this verse falls in the verse number 13 and once again chapter the key gave us 13 when we added the number of the letters 139 1 plus 3 plus 9 
is 13. And these are the 13 and 31, the only numbers we had in the key that they were not additive prime numbers, they were just prime numbers. So I learned from this that maybe when we have an additive prime number, we need to think of something outside the text of the Quran. Whereas if we have just a prime number, it means it's, a point, it's pointing somewhere within the Quran to something that has exactly the same value, and God knows best. This is the rule so far, but uh, it's not proven. So let's look at these verses and where they are repeated exactly. The positions for this verse are 13, 16, 18, 21, 23, 25, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 45, 47, 49, 51, 53, 55, 57, 59, 61, 63, 65, 67, 69, 71, 73, 57, and 77. From 13 to 77. When you look at these numbers, hmm, some of them prime, some of them not prime. What's the big deal about them? I drew them on a chart to see if I can make up a word or something like the word Allah maybe or Allahu Akbar. Nothing there. So, I have 31 numbers. What can I do with them? I can do plus, minus, division or multiplication. Let's see, examine these ones in details. If I do a plus, I get a nice, beautiful number, 1433, three, which is an additive prime number. 1433 three is a prime number, so it's mother of all its multiples. And 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 equals 11, which is also a prime number. So that made me happy indeed. But I must look at the other operations in case I'm missing something else. So the moment you even contemplate doing minus, you will end up immediately into negative. Okay, 13 minus 16, that's it. You finish. If you start from the back, after a few of them, you go minus as well. So that's not good. If you try to multiply, then you defeat the purpose of prime numbers. Prime numbers are not a result of multiplications. They are standalone numbers. al water, remember? What else? You can divide them? No. If you keep dividing, you will go below 1. So it becomes a non-integer number, not whole number. So that's not good at all. So the only operation we can think of is a plus. What else? I also thought of concatenations, joining them these numbers, left to right and right to left. And that also produced some results, but I don't want to share it in this video. You can look at it on my website later. So let's concentrate on this magical additive prime number, 1433, three, which is the result of adding all these numbers of the verse for the Ayala Rabbikumatkadivan or what other bounties of your Lord do you still deny both of you man and Jim? On the face of it, 1433 three, looks like just another prime number, additive prime number. But could there be something behind it? Knowing that the current year in 2011 is actually 1432 in the Islamic calendar, that is one less than the 1433, one could expect that this number might be referencing next year's Islamic year, which is 1433 after Hijrah or AH, which is a lunar year. So God the Merciful, in the same chapter, the Merciful, gave us the incredible evidence that we really need to justify that the number, or the additive prime number, 1433, is indeed pointing to the Hijri year, 1433. By making the number of words in this chapter, the whole chapter, including Bismillah rahman rahim equals exactly, exactly, exactly the number of days in a Hijri year, and not any Hijri year, but a Hijri year that is a leap year. And 1433 three after Hijra next year is a leap year. Isn't that incredible? So the same chapter that's giving us this magical number 1433 has 355 words. And the year 1433 has 355 days. So the first words map to the first day. The second word, map to the second day, and so on, until we reach the 44th word, which is the first word of the repeated verse. Fabi'i, alai, rabbikuma, tukadiban. So it's the word Fabi'i. So Fabi'i is the 44th word, means it maps to the 44th day, which is 14 of the second month, that is Safar, 
of 1433AH and so on until the last month a whole total period of 10 months when we map that to the Gregorian calendar then the first repetition would correspond to the 7th of January 2012 and last for 4 days so 7, 8, 9, 10 then there is an 11 days rest because there are 11 words between the first instance uh, repetition instance and the second one and so on until the last one which will start on the 4th of November 2012 and ends on the 7th of November so it's 4, 5, 6 and 7 because it's 4 days again but what are these events and where are they going to be? well it doesn't take rocket science to find out with the help of God, the merciful, this chapter is full of surprises. Let's look at it. Imagine we have something that's going to come from space. A meteorite show, for example. That's just a guess. It might be smoke or sand or something that is external. We might even go through this comet called Alinin. Okay? Uh, and the way I see it might be, this comet would have a very long tail that the Earth would pass through, and the tail has three, th 31 stripes, and each stripe the Earth goes through would last for four days. Okay? So, whatever it is, it needs to be external to Earth. Why? Because God gave us evidence that it has to be external. And the evidence goes as follows. Assuming that the events are external, and each event lasts four days, then the Earth, over four days, would just keep on spinning four times around its own axis, around itself. So if anything hitting the Earth from space, from one angle in space, would just sweep around the Earth on a circle, complete circle, four times, exactly on the same circle. And these circles we call latitudes. So instead of looking for pinpoints locations for the 31 events we need to look for 31 latitudes and glory to the merciful Allah the creator and sustainer of everything in real time he has given us these latitudes and guess what they are exactly the same verse numbers of this repeated verse the first one is 13 the last one is 77 and what about what's special about this look at it a latitude range starts from zero at the equator and ed ends at 90 at the North Pole. 90 North, that is. Or 90 South at the South Pole. And these numbers, 13 up to 77, sit exactly, exactly, exactly in the middle of this range. From zero to 13 is 13, and from 77 to 90 is also 13. And if that's not enough, I looked at the whole Quran, and looked at the 1433rd letter, 1433rd word, 1433rd verse, and all of them talks about punishment. The letter is part of the word stones, that's why I think it's meteorite shower. The word, 1433rd word, is lightened, but the sentence, the punishment will not be lightened. That's uh, chapter 286. The first one was chapter 2, verse 24. That's the letter, uh, stones. And the verse is chapter 1069, which says, Say, those who forge lies against God shall never succeed. So, I ask forgiveness from God in case I'm doing such things. Astaghfirullah Rabbi Atubili. So are these 31 latitudes north or south, or even both? Let's look at the verse closely. The verse itself, the repeated verse that is, says, What other bounties of your Lord do you both, man and jinn, still deny? Addressing two entities in this verse may imply that it will be both north and south. It could be at the same time, or it could be alternating. So maybe 13 north, 16 south, 18 north, 21 south, and so on, until 77. Or the opposite, 13 south, 16 north, 18 south, 
21 north and so on. Or it could be at the same time. So at the same time, 13 north and south would be hit at the same time. Then 16 north and south and so on. We don't know. We have to wait for the events to happen. And perhaps the way it might unfold is as follows. All places of worship, regardless of religion path, where God is sincerely worshipped, will survive and will become safe haven for people to hide in. Only then people will realize that we all worship the same one God, the creator and sustainer of all existence in real time. And because the Quran is telling them where are the events, what time, how long they last, then they should all understand by then that the Quran is the word of God and Islam is the right path.